Hello, Konnichiwa, Kuniko desu. Let's f o l l this bird, this model, often used for the New Year's Day and celebration. Let's start. Color side up. We are going to make this square to quarter size. So fold it in half to rectangle and fold it again right to left or left to right to fold quarterly. Unfold once and let's do orientation. Here's the opening side I'm showing you and bring your opening side of the model towards you or on the bottom. And from the right top corner, fold to the vertical center crease. It's a triangle shape. And try to make it as, pre、uh, as precise as possible. Turn it over to the back side where no flap is on. Fold the same way, right top corner, to the vertical center crease. And now the model looks like a pyramid. On the top side and the bottom side, both of them have one flap on the right side. Pick it up and look at the bottom of the pyramid. There's a big, longest, long side and open that pocket as much as you can without losing the other, all the fold you made and squash. You opened it and squashed it to a diamond square. Orientation to see the opening side on the bottom or towards you, and there's a center vertical creasing line is there. And pick up only one layer from the right bottom diagonal edge and fold that. To the vertical center crease. Do the same on the opposite side. And now it looks like a kite. Next folding happens on this line of the shape. And the crease align with this edge. Fold to the back side. And please make sure not leaving any space on top. It's all gone to the back. Unfold the flaps of the kite. Looks like a diamond shape or Superman badge. Grab only a one sheet top top layer and that top layer g o up and down. Keep the bottom layers down to the table. Push the top layer all the way to touch down the table. As you do that, left edge, right edge, they can Be folded to the center, bring the edges, side edges together to the center vertically, and the creases are there. So just follow the crease and make it to flat shape, just like this shape. That is the goal for this step. It's part of the bird base. Next, pick it up and turn it to the back side. In the middle, there's a small triangle flap. Push that up and flatten it. Next, 
We were going to fall diagonally from the top corner to the vertical center crease. And you are just grabbing one flap from the side and do the same on the opposite side. Unfold two side flaps. Grab a pencil we are going to mark. I highly recommend to mark it like I do if you are a beginner. If you are experienced folder, uh, maybe you don't need this. Uh, let's see. Uh, what you can do is mark one on the left corner of this diamond square and mark two in the same triangle and do the same on the opposite side. Be aware there's a diagonal crease you just created and right next to it number three goes on and number four goes on to the right corner of this diamond square. For the next few steps, we'll be using this number. Grab the one corner and go back and forth, just like I'm doing, and turn up like a turning the page to the right and left. So that now this flap can be easily coming towards you. And find the opening like a pocket on the bottom. Stick your finger in and press from the bottom a little bit and fold down. Open squash, fold. And you can see the number one and two Grab the corner of number two and fold that edge to the center vertical crease. Fold it down precisely. After that, unfold the edge you just did and now you can see one and two. Turn the flap to the left and go back and forth and now you are going to do the open squash. The pocket of number one and two will be opened and tap from the top. Now you can only see number two, right? And keep going. It might be hard, too small to do the open squash. so. I will use a pencil, stick it in, or maybe toothpick or something. And the center crease will be aligned with a long center crease. Push and turn that flap, side flap to the left. Now you don't see any number one, two, but three and four. Grab the flap of three and four and turn that to the left back and forth. We are going to repeat what you did for the flap of the one and two. Find the pocket on the diagonal bottom and open squash, open it and squash. And now you can see number three and four on the left side and grab the three and fold it to the center vertical crease. Please be aware you grabbed the number three. And it makes a crease to the center. Unfold it. Then grab the flap of the three and four, back and forth, and open squash. 
If you can't open it easily, use a pencil. All the way to the top, and this process is done. No more numbers. This is uh, this is, this part is over. Uh, push the side you just create to the to the right, and you will see the shape like like this. It's a beautiful design at this point. In the middle, there's a triangle flap. Fold it down. We are halfway through. For the next step, simply turn it upside down, very simply upside down. And from the right edge to the left, you fold. From the bottom, that's the next one. From the bottom, you will fold to um, L, 90 degree shape, like an alphabet L. And you are folding it. Right there, the horizontal small crease. Next stop is using that crease you just made and make the outside reverse fold. If you know it already, go ahead. But if you haven't heard of this, let me do step by step with you. First, bring the back flap open and Find the V crease in the middle and the bottom of the V you just poke. The bottom of the triangle will come up like a little sail folding up. And then follow the crease you already have, make it flat. It looks like a sailboat and as a result, you reversed the boat part. Next, you will fold from the bottom corner and fold the tip of the boat up, crease hard, and next, unfold. We'll do inside reverse fold. I'll do step by step. From the bottom, open up the bottom part like a long diamond shape and then the center vertical crease you almost denting you push and reverse the fold as a result you will be back to the same shape almost aligned with the sail part Looks like a two sails, big one and a small sail. And grab the small sail on the boat and make the head of the bird. It's small. Next step is inside reverse fold. From the bottom, you open it up. And from the top, this time from the top, push it down. It's it's done. Open the wing. This is a very exciting part. Beautiful. Open it to the side way, to the way you like. I will just make a little push from the side and make a little crease to the center so that the wing stay open. In my country, Japan, this wide open wing means a bigger future and good luck. Have a great life. Thank you for folding with me. Arigato. Mata ne.